Guys, firstly, I'll just uh, like to uh, focus that why tracking cutoffs is important because it aligns your preparation with the realistic institute targets. What is the applicant pool growth? If the candidates are increasing, competition would also increase. Damn sure that you can, yes, get certain common concepts that were asked in that year and that, that would be asked in 2020. Guys, today, I am before you discussing the expected cutoff for gate 2026 that would be conducted by IIT Guwahati for every branch irrespective you are from civil, mechanical, EC, IT, CS or civil engineering. Guys, firstly, I'll just uh, like to uh, focus that why tracking cutoffs is important because it aligns your preparation with the realistic institute targets since it would be made by IIT Guwahati. So you can also focus on the previous papers that were made by IIT Guwahati. I am damn sure that you can yes get certain common concepts that were asked in that year and that, that would be asked in 2026 guys this can prioritize the subject based on the cutoff weightage and yes it can optimize the mock test benchmarks and we can also make informed decisions during the cope and ccmt counselings yes guys this is one of the important slides where previous cutoffs is discussed and i have an analysis for you guys if you just see in the csc branch the number of students were around 75,000 and this has rose to around 1,70,000 guys. So day by day, the crowd is increasing and yes guys, I am damn sure for 2026, that would touch around 2 lakh. Guys, for DA, I can just say that the number of students were 39,000 and in 2025, it rose to 57,000 and guys, for 2026, it would be touching around 1 lakh. Guys, yes, I can also say that uh, for general, it is 32.5. Okay, and the cutoff has been decreased from 32.5 to 29.2 in 2025 for general branch. So that is a clear indication that difficulty level has increased and number of students has also increased. Similarly for DA guys, you can see a deep fall, a very slope, a very steep fall from 37.1 to 29.0 since number of students has increased and yes, difficulty level has also increased. Similarly for mechanical, it was 28.4 and yes, in 2025 it is 35.8. So guys, I would just say that number of students has decreased so basically that is why paper level was a bit easy and yes number of candidates who appeared that also decreased a bit yes for electrical it was 25.0 that is almost similar right for 2023 till 2025 for ECE it was 30 and yes the cutoff has been decreased till to, uh, to 25.0 in 2025 so you can also see the number of students in ec so that has increased from 45000 to 81475 yes and guys uh, in civil engineering we can see that the cutoff was 26.6 and in 2025 it is 29.2 so guys number of students has decreased so and yes and the paper and the difficulty level has also decreased a bit so that is why this uh, discrepancy could be seen here in the cutoffs as well and similarly you can see the cutoffs for OBC and SCST. Yes. Okay, guys, so key factors is what is the applicant pool growth? If the candidates are increasing, competition would also increase. What is the paper difficulty? If the exam is tougher, the cutoff would be less. And what is the seat matrix chance? Since this year, DA branch, I mean, in the last year, DA branch was introduced in the IIT and IITs. So there would be a slight, slight pressure for the CSC seats, which would be offered uh, by the CSC gate. And yes, which will be getting by uh, uh, giving the gate DA. So there would be a bit discrepancy. So pressure would be there and yes normalization policy always exists which actually uh, i mean make difference in the actual marks yeah so this is the guys projected 2026 cutoff according to me guys let's see how much <laughs> that gets true yes for general i am expecting for csc I think that this would be around 30 to 31 marks for 2026. Guys, similarly for OBC, it would be for 27.5 and 20 for SCST. Guys, for DA, I think this would be around 31 to 32 marks because this year paper would be a bit tough. So, yes, for similarly for OBC, it would be 27.5 roundabout and for SCST, it would be roundabout 20. So, guys, I think around 30 to 31, that would be for DA and around 30 to 31, that would be for CSC. For mechanical, guys, I think for general, the cutoff could be between 31 to 32 marks and for electrical i think the cutoff would be almost same around 25 or 26 marks because the paper difficulty is almost similar in these last three years for ec i think the uh, cutoff would be around 25 to 26 marks for general and for civil engineering it would be around 30 31 marks for general so guys i think this would be the cutoff so you definitely you can get uh, uh, a, a bit of information how the cutoffs would be and what could be the difficulty level of the paper Yes. 
yes guys i would be just uh, conclude uh, that yes you have to first finalize the target pick up the branch and category specific mark then weekly check ins are important since it compare mock scores and the projected cut off then counseling preparation is one of the important uh, things because research institutes past admission protocols would be very clear from that thing and yes we have to stay updated so follow the official gate notification for any policy shifts and yes guys uh, the last batch for gate 2026 for da as well as for cs would be starting uh, and this would be the cost if you want definitely you can enroll and yes let us meet soon thank you so much